Hello, Cav Cop here. In this video, I want to go over a unique pistol. This right here is the Magnum Research Lone Eagle. It was originally created by a John P. Foote, who created as the single shot pistol 91, SSP 91. And in 1993, Magnum Research started making it. It's a single shot pistol. It's breech loaded, which is rather unique. And it has a 12 to 14 inch barrel. It's one of the things that was used back in the day as a silhouette shooting or a hunting or a pistol. And it came in rifle caliber rounds. Remington made uh, XP100 and Thompson Contender uh, had their uh, single shot breech uh, or break open uh, pistol as well. So let's go inside and get further into this pistol. All right, so the pistol was designed partly by John P. Foote. Uh, John P. Foote was a bit of an engineer. He helped uh, design the SR-71 Blackbird engine, which is an amazing aircraft, and the engine is kind of what made it what it is. He also played a role in uh, the 25mm Bushmaster, which is used on Bradley fighting vehicles and other stuff. He worked with um, Eugene Stoner, helping design some stuff. He also worked with um, Ingram, doing the uh, MAC-10 Ingram series pistols and machine pistols. Foote did a lot of stuff with his own personal little machine gun things. None of them really kind of took off, but he made a lot of submachine guns and machine gun type designs. He ended up working for Colt as well, doing some stuff, updating and revamping the M16 to make it kind of more what it is today than what it started out as. And one of the only real civilian pistols that he made was this right here. It started out as the uh, SSP 91, single shot pistol 91. Before that, it was a model that came out, I think around 86 or so. But I, um, Magnum Research that makes the Desert Eagle, they ended up liking design and taking it. Originally, it was kind of cut off here and a little bit more squared. But this one right here was kind of the last series that they made back when... People like single shot pistols for hunting and other purposes. It's a uh, breech loaded, basically similar to like a cannon breech or something else. You put the round in, lock it in place. When you want to get the round out after you have it in place, you just unlock the breech. It won't show here, but it'll pop and kick the round back. So it's kind of unique and neat in that feature. Um, basically, you put a round in here and then you close it within the breech. It locks into place. There's a cocking lever here on the side. So prior to that, the trigger doesn't work. You cock it, it's ready to fire. You can put it on safe with a cross bolt safety, or you can put it on fire. When you put it on fire, it pulls the trigger. It's nice and light, easy to pull. Once you're done shooting it, you unlock the breech. It'll kick the round out and put the next one in. The Thompson Center and the Remington uh, XP100s were kind of popular back in the 80s and 90s, back when people used to like just shooting a single shot out of a rifle for silhouette shooting and hunting, and people cared more about accuracy than how many rounds they could fire. Well, what's really neat about this pistol is that most are going to be forward heavy. This one right here is actually heavier towards the rear because the way the cannon's done so similar to like a bullpup or something like that for a single shot pistol this one right here is rather well balanced has a little bit of a grip area here if you want to hold it and get a two-hand grip on it um, you can also hold it like a traditional pistol and magnum research and the other ones are kind of front end heavy some of them have a bolt you got to pull all the way back so you can't have as much eye relief in it um, when you pop this to unlock it though you do have to be careful because Depending on the expended case and everything, it can pop it right back towards your face, so you may want to turn it away a little bit. But it has a threaded barrel on it. So if you wanted to attach a muzzle device or something like that, um, they had aftermarket um, compensators you could put on. If you had some type of suppressor or something that you wanted to go hunting with, you could attach it to it. The lower polymer part right here has a cross bolt that goes through it. All you have to do is remove that and the whole barrel part comes off. So if you want to do 
interchangeable barrels and stuff like that. It was kind of easy to do the interchangeable barrels and stuff with it. Same thing with the uh, top part right here. It's drilled and tapped for iron sights. So if you wanted to mount sights here and then you wanted to mount a sight in the back, you could do that to just shoot open iron sights if you wanted. I ended up putting a rail on it and a scope and everything. But this one right here is in 223 caliber. They came in 308, uh, 444 Marlin. Just about any caliber you could imagine a rifle being in, you could end up getting these in. They kind of stopped making them and went away because people weren't into uh, single shot and silhouette type shooting anymore. Some states, I think you can only hunt with a pistol during certain times. So it could be a great option for something like that. But this is just a unique pistol I picked up years ago and figured I'd share it with you guys for this video. If anyone has one of these, let me know if you've shot one and like it. Or if you thought the, the recoil was a bit much, let me know. If you have any questions about taking it apart or something like that, hit me up. I can do a video later, but basically what you end up doing is you have to take out, there's two set screws. You have to remove those, remove the screw. This right here comes up about halfway and pops off. Then you got to remove the screws completely and you can unscrew this and it'll come off. Then you have to do some adjustments because the ejector and extractor in here have to be adjusted a bit, but it's a real simple pistol design. Works pretty well. If you have one that's not ejecting properly, it's going to be because the set screw in here has to be kind of undone and adjusted. And you have to take the initial screw out of it, and then there's another screw you have to turn kind of quarter turns to adjust it to where it pops and actually ejects the rounds out and everything. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would, give me a like. If you would, give me a follow. Also check out Therapy Range, Always Survives, and Deer Sarge. Cav Cop out.